Welcome back everybody. So thank you for coming back to my channel and watching another one of our videos. So today we'll talk a little bit about RC cars and you know if you've seen my channel I've got a number of videos about uh, you know a few RC boats, you know, about some uh, four-wheel drives, off-roads etc. So the other day I was browsing through Amazon and I came across this one. That, that this relatively cheap uh, little RC car right uh, so it's about 48 bucks but what caught my attention is that it does go into the water and it based on what they say on the Amazon ad um, it should be able to swim as well you know so it should not just you know drive through water but should be able to float and you know go back onto the sand and then back into the water so sounded like a, a lot of fun um, you know I do enjoy playing with RC cars and you know myself and my son we do race them uh, a little bit as well so I thought it would be a good fun toy you know just to get and, and just to have some fun uh, when we go out to the beach and you know just see how it performs so let's look at what first of all let's look at what in the box and then we'll go out to the beach and test it out and see how it performs so what's in the box well now as you can see it's unpacked so it came with a, a battery obviously a charger the good thing is they do come with a screwdriver now right so you can actually take it with you and you know replace the battery if needed unfortunately what i've noticed lately is that you know different rc cars all come with different plugins right and if you can see this one uh, this is a three pin uh, connector and uh, you know I don't think I have any other battery which would which have the same connector so it's it's a bit uh, you know unfortunate that you know you can't replace the battery from other cars and uh, you know and obviously you know if you if you do have a lot of cars you'll need a lot of those chargers lying around because every battery has its own charger so but the good thing is a screwdriver uh, it has a basic instruction manual so in a few languages so it's literally a one page on operation and the car itself so it's, it's actually quite lightweight uh, the wheels are plastic so it's, it's an interesting so I guess it's probably not for the hard surface you know you probably don't want to run them on the hard sur surface because you will damage them um, it does look waterproof you know had a quick look around it uh, you know there's no obvious places where the water will leak in into the motor and everything but you know we'll, we'll have to test it and see uh, also the pairing light and the on off button is rubberized so I mean so it gives me a bit of a confidence that it won't leak uh, the tires well the wheels are basically can substitute for pedals so yeah I, I do see how it would float and additionally I noticed when I was looking at it right it has two of these things and then going back to the manual that's basically for draining the water so you know so the water does get I guess inside a little bit somehow but at least you have the drainage so another thing to check is normally especially if you're going to take them uh, into the water is obviously the seal around the the battery casing right so if the seal is no good the water will get into the battery and will just damage it straight away so let's open it and uh, have a look see how it looks like okay it's a bit uncomfortable to take off okay so as you can see there is a seal around it so it does not the best seal I've seen but it has a, a bit of a lip here so I guess the casing uh, plug slug, plugs in there and it sort of holds it in, in there also I um, just noticed the cable the cable is actually sealed off right so I don't think the water will be able to get through the cable hole so that that actually also quite you know seems quite good for you know for relatively cheap car I think it, it's it's quite well made 
So, I think without any further wait, let's get out there, let's get onto the beach, let's get the car through the sand, through the water and see how it performs. So I will see you all shortly, as soon as I get to the beach. Okay, so we're now at the beach, so we'll, I'll have my driver running the car. Here is the car, so let's go! spending a few great days at the beach and then you know at the ocean and giving this little car a good run around both in water and on the sand so what are my thoughts well look i'm actually quite pleasantly surprised i didn't expect this car to last you know that long i had rc boats which would you know last less than this car did right and just in the water but I am quite impressed. I mean, the seal, the seal around the battery held up very well. There was absolutely no leakage into the battery compartment. Um, this draining holes, right? Uh, really never had to drain any water because it seems to be just nothing got in anywhere. Uh, and performance wise, well, I mean, it drove relatively well on, on sand. Uh, I think it's a little bit slow in the water, but uh, you know, for what it is, you, know, you can't expect it to to be very fast you know in the water com in comparison to you know to the rc boat or something like that um but overall it, it's it's a great little toy my son definitely enjoyed it um it's easier to control um remote is simple you know you turn up backwards forwards etc the distance is quite well uh quite good as well um i think it's at least you know sort of 15 20 meters distance if not if not more and uh, you know overall performance i think it's been great it's you know for what i've paid for it it's about 40 bucks i think it it's definitely a lot of fun and i think i'm not sh sure if i'm gonna get a second one um uh, to race because it's probably not the racing you know instrument but uh overall uh you know I'm definitely happy with the purchase. I think it's definitely 
it will spend 40 bucks and, and it's a great fund then um, for sure we'll, we'll continue using it and we'll keep taking taking it with us to the beach and see what happens well that's about it for the little car review uh, if you enjoyed it give us a like subscribe to the channel and i'm sure we'll have some other fun exciting videos coming up shortly thank you bye